Welcome to From Trooper to Table. Easy and convenient recipes that even a dummy like me can make. On today's episode, I'll be making slow cooker St. Louis style spare ribs. And I'm telling you, this is the easiest thing you can possibly make, but they are absolutely delicious. So impress your family, your friends, and even yourself. You'll need a slow cooker, a three pound rack of St. Louis style spare ribs, a little bit of water, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, some seasoned salt, a pan topped with aluminum foil, barbecue sauce, and an oven. If your ribs are frozen like mine were, just put them in the fridge 24 hours before you plan on cooking them. You're gonna wanna start this early. It takes a little over eight hours to cook. So plan for it to finish around dinner time. I usually put mine in around 10 in the morning, which puts the finish time around 6 p.m. First, you're gonna wanna get your slow cooker in position somewhere on the countertop, a little out of the way, because this thing needs to sit still and plugged in for eight hours. Open your pack of ribs and place them inside of the slow cooker. You'll probably need to bend them a little bit to make them fit, that's fine. Pour just enough water to coat the bottom of the slow cooker. This will make sure that the meat doesn't dry out as the heat ramps up. After that, get your apple cider vinegar and slowly pour it over the top of the ribs, just a little bit. Throw a little bit of seasoned salt on top, put the lid on the slow cooker, turn your slow cooker on low heat for eight hours. And then you're free to go to work, to school, take a nap, read a book, write a book, and enjoy your day. Once the eight hours is finished, heat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, Take the ribs out of the slow cooker and place them on the aluminum foil covered pan. Drizzle them with whatever barbecue sauce you want and pop them into the oven for 10 minutes at 375. When the timer beeps, you're ready to eat some of the most tender ribs you'll ever have. Super easy, ridiculously good. If you're a kid, make them for your parents, they'll be very impressed. Make them for your significant other if you're like me and you don't know really how to cook. I think even you will be surprised by these. If you end up making your own slow cooker ribs, Take a picture, tweet it at me, and tell me what you think. Until next time, Hello Greedo, out.